Here's my first attempt at a permanent magnet generator uh, hooked up into my exercise bicycle. The permanent magnet generator, PMG, is sitting here where the rear wheel used to be. And it's got two rotors that will generate the magnetic field and a stator which has the coils in it. And the coils are set up in a star configuration and uh, produces three phase AC. And that AC will run through this rectifier here, be turned into DC and then off to my grid tie inverter and then onto the power grid. The uh, rotors have uh, 12 poles and are 12 magnets um, and the distance between the rotor with the magnets and the stator is about two millimeters. The stator is suspended by these four threaded rods which I've uh, mounted on the, the bicycle in various places. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and crank this up and show you what this uh, PMG can do. This is not uh, any different than the PMGs that you see on the web uh, for the do-it-yourself uh, wind generators. It's a very similar construction. So let me crank this up for you and show you what kind of power we can get. What I want to show is how much output is given at various revolutions per minute RPMs in the back. Um, the rotor will rotate uh, one that's 8 RPMs for every 1 uh, kph that's shown on the speedometer here. And once it gets up to about 200 RPMs in the back, uh, the voltage here will get a little above uh, 12 volts, which is what the grid tie inverter requires to get started. And then the output of the grid tie inverter will be shown here in this watt meter. So let me get it cranked up. It'll be uh, 25 kph for 200 and about 38 kph for 300 RPMs, and then I'll, I'll go as far as my legs will carry me uh, at the very end. So this is just about uh, 200 RPMs. You can see there's plenty of voltage. The good tie inverter is starting to generate wattage. So here it is, about 30, 35 watts. When we crank it up to about 200 RPMs, uh, 300 RPMs. It's about 300 RPMs, and now I'm just going to let it loose. That's about as much as my legs will take. This PMG is much more efficient than the crawl alternator I had been using up to date uh, in my exercising. If I'd be applying 100 watts to the pedals, uh, the alternator is only about, you know, between 50 and 65 percent efficient, so I'd only be getting, you know, 50 to 65 uh, watts on the output maximum. Where at this, if I'm applying 100 watts, it's at least 90 percent efficient, so I'm getting uh, 90 watts on the output, uh, which is really good. Uh, it's a really fun uh, to exercise with this. Uh, you can go as fast as you want um, and apply as much uh, power to the pedals and you're, you can see immediately uh, what the, the output is. And it's easy to get started. Uh, even uh, my wife and kids can uh, ride on this uh, and not feel a whole lot tired. It's just a whole lot lighter uh, to the touch than the car alternator was. So hopefully this is useful to some of you. Uh, make some comments, ask some questions, and let's get started with uh, permanent magnet generators on your bicycle.